Hey everybody, Travis again for Figure Around and Find Out. And we're back here in the kitchen at the sink. And uh, we'll be doing some more, well, digging around. Now, I believe in my last video, which I apologize, ran pretty long. Uh, I talked about how modified fig pop was my current favorite method of propagation. And I'm still getting good results on both the Bosnian fig and... Uh, I believe it was Mississippi Mojo was the other one that I fig popped. And I have four propagation attempts going from that uh, fig tree to which we have access that we now think may be a black mission. Uh, first, we were thinking maybe black Italian, but I'm not so sure that will be pretty rare in this area. But black mission, apparently there are some of those around. So believing that might be a black mission. I had somebody try to tell me that it was a uh, brown turkey and there's no way in hell it's a brown turkey. I've seen pictures of brown turkeys that looked really similar, dark purple, almost black, uh, similar leaf shape, but there's so much mislabeling among figs. I'm not certain if those are actually brown turkeys, and, and in, in, in any case, brown turkeys, while I do like them, I think I've had them, uh, I do like them if I have indeed had them, uh, they're not known for being notably sweet figs, and these ones on this tree to which we have access are unbelievably sweet. The, the preserves they produce are absolutely amazing. So my obsession may be gaining a little bit of focus. Um, we'll see how that goes. But to that end, anyway, I talked about how much I like fig pop. And I still do like fig pop, and I'm still figuring around and finding out. But I'm also, let me get my glasses on here so I can make sure we're all saying the same things. Look at here. That's the Bosnian fig cutting that I did not... Uh, fig pop I just get those roots back down in the bottle I uh, just did the old water bottle propagation method but you can see from whatever video it was video two ago that I got wise and cut the top off uh, before I committed to that because cutting that top off was more of a pain in the ass than I expected especially with the fig cutting in it and having to be careful about the roots so as it is now when they're going to a bottle Let's cut that sun bitch right off the top. No problem. But like I say, that thing's producing really good roots. And this unknown variety that I potted, either in the last video or video before, uh, was a bottle of propagation. And man, that thing had a big, beautiful root on it. And this thing is doing well. So, not ready to throw the baby out with the bath water just yet. I'm going to give uh, water propagation another shot now in the spirit of things here at figure out and find out we're going to figure out some stuff that being aspirin and I have seen numerous YouTube videos and, and write ups and shit about um Aspirin's efficacy as a rooting agent <clears throat> in place of rooting hormone. And I mean, I have six propagation attempts going for this particular tree and I've got heh, six more little bitty ones. Uh, we went and harvested from the tree in question again today. Pardon me, I'm cutting this aspirin into pieces the the ratio that i find says one regular size aspirin per liter of water now me being me left to my own devices i would probably just go root hog and crush up a whole bottle of aspirin in a teacup of water it's a little bit of an exaggeration but not much and uh, do that, but I don't want to accidentally burn it up or anything. So, uh, what I am going to do is the ratio, I forget if I said this, is yeah, one aspirin to one liter. Now, these six babies that I'm about to put in water. 
Um, sorry here. Just making sure this thing's not sterile, but I mean, hell, at least just presentably clean. Uh, So anyway, this jar, uh, I'm going to put all six in this jar, just kind of like a, a central nursery, and monitor them. And then as they start to produce roots, I'm not going to leave them in here long enough to get tangled. But like once they've got, you know, half inch or so of roots, then they'll get their individual bottles. But in the meantime, I want to crush up this aspirin. Just using a spoon on the kitchen counter here. All right, now most of it stuck to the spoon, and that's okay because. that spoon to stir the water anyway okay, I'll just get it up off the countertop that way now that Bosnian fig that I just showed you that's getting pretty good results in that bottle I actually used rooting hormone in it <laughs> I think I did it after the video where I prepared it, but I did add some rooting hormone to it, and that stuff, I don't know if it did any good or not, because it doesn't seem to be real water soluble. It looks like most of it just floated to the top. Uh, aspirin, however, I know is water soluble. So, let's say we went and harvested again this morning and brought back a couple of larger cuttings, which I then sat out on the front porch and processed into smaller cuttings and all of them save one follow the same basic blueprint six eight inches long just eyeballed uh maybe two leaves and i don't i don't know what difference that actually makes it's just the way i learned it and the way i do it now we're also since that unknown fig cutting was taken as a non-lignified cutting i have two of those as well and these are just the normal preparation these and the lignified ones where i cut them to a, a v down there at the bottom or, or an arrow or a point or whatever what you want to call it and uh so i have four no yes three lignified with leaves two non-lignified with leaves and I've never, I've seen these used for, for fig pop like this, uh, but never seen them attempted for water propagation. So we're going to try that. And here we have six beautiful little fig babies. They're going to take their place right over here beside the Mississippi Mojo, which the Mississippi Mojo, again, will probably live in this pot until the spring. I can't see that growing enough to necessitate up potting, but I suppose it's not impossible. So anyway, there's that. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, we got another experiment going at some point in the future. I'm sure I'll have a, have a results video. Uh, nothing really to report on the, the fig pop attempts from earlier the two older ones continue to do well and the four um, four suspected black mission uh, it's too early to tell I, there are some little white spots that i see in there that i think may be the first side of a root but it's so small uh, it's hard to tell for sure so this makes a dozen attempts uh, to, to get that fig tree propagated and I'm not going to be satisfied until I've got something, at least one in the ground thriving because that fucking thing is amazing. So anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. Uh, Mama Bear's down in her back, so I'm going to pile up with her and keep watching Sandman, which by the way, we give it 
four thumbs up she's not here uh, in the video with me but she would concur so anyway as always i'm travis from figure around and find out um subscribe click the bell for notifications stay tuned to see what my hillbilly ass gets up to next you know maybe we can be entertained maybe we can learn something and maybe just maybe we can all get some delicious figs access to them on our property so anyway be safe everybody and uh keep checking in y'all have a good one.